Hey friends, it's day five of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. Can you believe that we're already one third of the way through this challenge? If you've made it this far, give yourself a big pat on the back. Today, I had an impromptu invitation from family to join them for dinner, and the green grapes that I had left over were really not quite ripe enough. They were very tart um, and just not exactly what my, what my body was calling for. Um, so I'm going to be juicing those tomorrow along with some black grapes that I picked up at the store today. Uh, but instead, I really needed something a bit more grounding. I was feeling a little, I was feeling more than a little low, really drained today. But I also wanted to just celebrate something new and exciting um, since I was going over and visiting with family. So I picked up some romaine and rainbow microgreens, which were really delicious, fresh cilantro to help remove heavy metals from the body. Oh my gosh, there was red bell pepper and cucumber and carrot ribbons. Oh my gosh, it was just amazing. And I was so, so beyond grateful for this change in um, a palette, if you will. Uh, because I was not sure of the blender situation over at my parents, I decided that it would be easiest and the fastest to just get a raw dressing from the store. By no means is this dressing in particular ideal because it does have added olive oil and a little bit of added salt, which I can definitely feel after that meal, probably within like 45 minutes to an hour after that meal, I was feeling much more sluggish than I did after my meal of grapes. And that's to be expected. Vegetables don't offer our bodies as much raw energy as fruits do. Um, a lot of vegetables also have a very hard fibrous cell wall that needs to be break, uh, broken down and our bodies really are not meant to break down that hard cell wall of most vegetables. So it takes a lot more digestive energy to break down these vegetables. Not to mention just the, uh, the fats that were in that dressing does slow down detox. Now, a lot of people will be um, very concerned about adding fat into their diet, especially while on um, a deep detox, because they're afraid that it might stop their detox. Um, friends, it might slow things down, but if you're just doing one meal here and there to either ground yourself or to just be more present with your loved ones, that's okay. One meal here or there won't make or break your detox by any means. If anything, <laughs> um, just the, the mere fact that you are relaxing, that your mind and your body are just kind of at ease and you're happy, often means that your body is going to purge more. When we are stressed and we're holding on to anxiety, and that could be anxiety over eating healthier foods for a time being. There, there certainly can be anxiety over that. And if we are holding on to those negative emotions, that's affecting the adrenal glands. Guess what else the adrenal glands affect? Our peristalsis or our bowel movement, right? So when we're stressed, we're holding on to junk. We're holding on to waste. And so it's important to understand that we cannot let go of waste if we're holding on to angst. So let it go. And if your family invites you over and you're happy, you know, to eat raw or you're on some kind of protocol, you have options available to you. I don't want you to feel obligated or pressured to keep up appearances. I don't want you to feel obligated or pressured to join in on something you don't want to join in on. But ultimately, friends, the choice is yours. It's always yours. And I want us to get away from this black or white thinking of food choices being right or wrong. It's just a different choice, right? And it's nothing to punish ourselves over. If anything, whenever we eat foods that are not as hydrating, that are more congesting, our bodies will let us know. And sometimes I feel like maybe that's punishment enough. <laughs> Um, so I'm not going to keep this video um, much longer. I visited with family today. 
It was really beautiful for most of the day, so I got outside and I enjoyed some really pretty flowers at my mom's house. I was incredibly grateful for that salad today. Oh, it was just amazing. And it was so nice being able to stay raw, to stay true to this challenge, and still allow my body a little bit of grace and compassion today. I'm so, so beyond grateful for the progress that I have made in that realm. <clears throat> and after I um, edit this video, <laughs> I'm hitting bed, guys. I am passing out. Um, not much body-wise to note today, but I did not have as much juicy fruit today. So I did not hydrate or move as much lymph as I have been the last few days, but that's okay. Tomorrow, right back on the grapes. Um, one thing to note, I do plan on incorporating a grape and lemon juice every day from here on out. I really, really loved how that juice made me feel. And sometimes when we're struggling to eat that much raw fruits and vegetables, juicing our fruits and vegetables can be a great, very simple way to get a lot of nutrition into our bodies and a lot of hydration very quickly. One word of caution, of course, if you are struggling with poor sugar metabolism, i.e. diabetes, um, be careful of juicing. We do want to try and stick to eating the whole fruits and vegetables as much as possible. But if you need to supplement a little bit of juice, feel free. Just make sure that you're keeping an eye on your blood sugar. Well, that is it for today, friends. Let me know how you're doing on your challenge. I hope you're ready for day six. We're almost halfway through this, guys. You got this. Have a great night, and we'll talk tomorrow.